Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to my Let's Play of Bart's Nightmare. We are gonna try to collect some more pages. Let's get into it. Just got a new spiffy suit. Gonna try to hopefully encounter the next page as soon as we can. If you care about the score at all, you can definitely try to get rid of all of these enemies. I don't really care about the score, so I'm just trying to get to the next page as fast as I can, but it seems very much luck dependent on when it will decide to spawn. I'm gonna actually go to the top of the street because I've found that sometimes when I jump over these mailboxes I'll get like a little question mark and it'll tell me if I'm going the right way or not. But yes, this is another big complaint I have with this game. It's very frustrating not knowing when I'm going to get to the next page and just hope that I'm walking in the right direction. Okay, good, we're back to our normal clothes. Oh, I got hit by a note. So that means everything's reversed. Yeah, okay, there it is. There's the page. No, come on. Okay, we made it. All right, we're going to go purple now. Orange door I'm saving for last because that's arguably the hardest game in the mini game in the game. This time around, we are essentially playing Dig Dug underwater. We're just going to grab all these germs and blow them up. We just need to collect some nuclear dudes at the end. And don't get hit by these things. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep popping these guys up. The, per the guys with the um, pointy heads don't really matter as much as the grenade dudes do. Because if you're hit by a grenade, you essentially have to res. You're essentially done. The level ends. So you now you'll notice the page popped up at the top. We just need to collect these nuclear cowboy dudes to beat this mini game. Again, while we're collecting them, trying to avoid being hit by the grenades, we're dead. Ah, oh, reset. Yeah. So let's try this again. Uh, again, just need to pop up these dudes and blow them up and collect the nuclear guys. Red ones blow up the whole screen. Any minute now. Any minute now, they're gonna pop back up. There we go, time to start collecting. There's the first one. Second one's gonna be on the right or the left, left side of the screen. Avoid the nades, avoid the nades. Get another one. Oh, can I collect this one too? Nope. Okay, right or left, right or left, right or left. We just need to collect two more, and we're good. One more, and then we beat the minigame. There it is. And we have collected our fourth page. Alright, now let's keep on walking to find our next... No, Smithers! I mean, I'm um, Seymour. Seymour. Yeah, so I'm not that familiar with the Simpsons series. I watched it on Channel 11 whenever it came on, but I I don't know like all the characters' names. I don't know the bullies' names. I know Nelson, but like, yeah, I'm not a Simpsons fanatic. I don't know every character or the character's history. And right now we're pretty much stuck in this uh, squad. Until Lisa comes and saves us. There, she saved us. Okay, and we're dangerously low on our sleep, so we need to collect some more sleeping things. Um, I'll point it out when I see it. But essentially, we need to blow bubblegum into the Zs that are sometimes on the screen. Okay. Oh god, we're, we're possibly gonna die. Okay, there we go, there's a Z. So, like, we'll blow a bubble to collect it. Now we got another... sliver of health. Oh, okay, we're in the danger zone again. There we 
There we go. That's the question mark I was looking for. Okay, we are going the right direction. Hopefully we can... No, oh god, avo avoid any of these heads. The red Z's we can't collect for health. We're dead. So yeah, we're gonna redo this. Collect the Z. Collect all the Z's while you can. There's another one right there. Oh my god. I'm not even trying to fight these things. The overworld... Oh my gosh. The overworld is one of the things I hate most about this game. Like, it should not be this difficult to get to the next minigame. Just look at all the things it's throwing at you. You got fucking fish, saxophones, these green grass head things. I missed that jump. That, one, that was on me. That one was a skills issue. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I don't feel like it should be this hard to get to the next area. Let's see. I'm dead. So yeah, on top of difficult minigames, you also need to deal with... Deal with this overworld that is such a pain in the ass to just get across. And you don't even know when the next page is gonna spawn. So I'm just gonna keep running. Hopefully, and I, I'm gonna keep running and hopefully I encounter the next page soon. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I'm over this overworld. Just give me the next page. Alright, we gotta restart. We're, we gotta restart. We're dying. Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna walk all the way across. I don't really mind encountering Seymour because this essentially gives me, like... Invincibility. I don't care about my score. Just give me the page, please. Okay, we're just doing a whole lot of walking. Okay, any minute now, we're gonna encounter that page, right? God, I fucking hate this section of the game. No, no, fuck you guys. Oh my god, man. Caught again by these goons. Oh, there we go. Finally, the page. Come back. There we go, we made it. Uh, we're gonna go blue door this time. Again, going blue door because we're saving the orange door for last. So in this one we are playing as Bartman, we essentially are just gonna blast through this level. It's kind of like those old games where you're in the, the fighter plane, just trying to stay alive. It does get a little intense towards the end, but the first part is really not that bad. Hopefully we can get some lives. These crusty balloons will sometimes give you um, a free life. Not so lucky there. But yeah, we just need to keep coasting through. There's four boss fights in this one. Just gotta spam, spam the shoot button. I don't know if there's a way to avoid taking any damage, but I'm just gonna keep spamming. There we go. They're dead. No, wait, they're not they're floating up to, up to the top of the screen. Okay, whatever. We're dead. Okay, we're getting, getting chased by a cloud. There we go, free life. That's health. More sleep. That's all he's needed, too.
And now we have to fight Barney. Barney's not that bad, you just want to stay above him as best you can because he'll shoot these, like, germs at you, I think. And if you're underneath him, they'll do a lot of damage. But yeah, as long as you stay, like, above him, you should be good. It's not the hardest part. More health, that's just what I needed. Yeah, in my opinion, the hardest fight is um, coming up right now. Yeah, these missiles aren't too bad to avoid. They seem to be in the same pattern all the time, so... I mean, once you know the pattern, it's you just need to find that little gap. But yeah, this is the more annoying boss fight. Smithers! I don't know a good way to dodge those missiles he shoots at you. It's the red ones aren't aren't too bad, but the blue ones that he shoots, those those ones are so fast. And it's two missiles to kill you. So you can either beat him by you know shooting him to death, <laughs> or you can beat him by having him fire off all his missiles. There we go, another life. Yeah, you all, you all want to shoot these crusty balloons because they give you another life. Unless you're speedrunning, blast through them, but if you're playing casually, it's in your best interest to just uh, go ahead and try to uh, collect all the lives you can. This section's a little scary because these clouds aren't one-shot. They won't one-shot you, but they deal so much damage per second, it's like pretty much a death sentence if you fall into one. So, I want to be a little careful here, but it's overall not too bad of a section. Just gotta stay away from those clouds. There we go. Got four lives, going into the final two bosses. I feel pretty good at that. Smithers 2. I don't know why. I don't know who made the decision that you just needed to fight Smithers again. Like, why do I need to fight Smithers for a second time? Okay, whatever. That's pretty much a boss fight. I think he doesn't have- I don't think he has any more missiles. Yeah, we're good. So, loss of life there, but who cares? We have three lives going into the final boss. Well, the final section of the level, I should say. Yeah, I think Smithers 2 is a harder boss fight than the final one coming up. And you'll see why right now. I don't know who's flying the plane either. It's really hard to see who it is. But yeah, with this plane... Oh, it's Mr. Burns. See, I don't really know a good way to do this other than I when I when he's going from the left I fly down. And when he's coming from the right, I fly down into the left. Usually he'll fly diagonally to the left. He'll fly like down left from the right side. This time around he seems to be- oh there he goes, I can fly like that, so it's really easy to get some easy damage in. And then yeah, you can just keep dodging. He's pretty easy to dodge once you get a feel for him. But yeah, usually you just kind of stick in one spot. You can sort of just like weasel your way up and down to avoid him. And then when he flies in from the left's when you're gonna get all your damage in. Like down, up a little bit, dodged all those. And just waited for him to come again. There we go. Art man section done. Got another page. Pretty proud of ourselves for that. Five pages down, three to go. And with that, we'll go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.